Hey YouTube, welcome to another video. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the traffic situation in Toronto. If you're traveling to Toronto this summer, you gotta be aware of the traffic situation, honestly. Like every hour is rush hour in, in Toronto. Like it's so, so bad, it's crazy. Like look, like every hour is rush hour in Toronto. best mode of transportation is walking if you plan to drive let's know you're gonna spend an hour just to get somewhere that's like 15 minutes like <laughs> i think the government is trying to make the city a walking city so like driving around is not the best mode of transportation because either you're gonna have to take the train <laughs> if you want to save some time are you gonna just have to walk it i really think walking is the best mode of transportation so if you ever come here in the summer you want to enjoy yourself and don't get delayed. You gotta, 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 gotta do a little walking tour of this beautiful city. I'm telling you, traffic. Look at it. Like, yeah. If you don't wanna be stuck in that, then you gotta, you gotta plan ahead. Or if you like that comfort of taking the, the, the car, yeah. Let's be prepared to wait for hours, hours upon hours in this crazy traffic. Look, the CN Tower is right over there. Right over there. The traffic is a mess, like a total mess, I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah, I recommend walking because there's so much benefits. You get to work out, you get a sweat, burst a sweat, you get to take in the beautiful surroundings. You get to stop at different little restaurants that you probably don't get to see when you're, when you're driving. So yeah, the best mode of transportation is definitely walking. Like it takes an hour to move from point A to point B. Like literally, even a kilometer. It's like an hour drive, like it's crazy. Look at that. Look at that. It's ridiculous. Make sure that you look what you're doing because a lot of people are on the road and they can't drive. And literally people get hit so often that you don't even, you don't even, nothing comes out of it either. Like you see so much people getting hit when you check the news. Nothing happens, it's not even a criminal charge, so you gotta be careful, you know? Make sure <laughs> you look what you're doing because there's bikers coming and there's people who can't drive that's literally on the road, so I want you guys to be safe. This is the exit to get onto the highway. And I'm telling you, crazy. So take my foolish advice. If you wanna spend a lot of time <laughs> exploring and enjoying the city, you gotta take the transit or you gotta walk because you're gonna spend a lot of time in this crazy crazy traffic. Literally homeless camps all over the city. Like literally. There's people living in tents all over the city. I'm telling you like, yeah, it's such a problem. This is the Toronto that they don't show you. The things that's going on here. Traffic is crazy. But you know what else is crazy as well? Like the homeless situation in Toronto. There's like a lot of homeless people. Like look, under the gardener right here, there's another camp. Let me just see if he will talk to us. Hey, my friend. Hey, how are you? Do you mind talking on camera? Not at all. Not at all? I always see you here when I'm coming into the city and I, I'm always curious, you know? What's your yeah, name? My name is Admiral Patrick White Eagle. It used to be Patrick James Eagle. Admiral? Is that like Army? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah? You're in the US, US Navy? Oh, nice, yeah, nice. Um, my name used to be Patrick James Egal, which is pronounced Eagle. Yeah. But because you're not supposed to name a child to make things after they're born according to the word of God, my name was changed to Patrick White Eagle. Okay. I, I wanted to be a soldier one time. I wanted to be a fighter pilot. So it's nice, nice to meet you as a soldier. You know, I respect that. Yeah. I respect you that. You know, I uh, didn't know I was going to be a soldier. Oh, yeah? I, 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 I happen to notice, like, this is your, your, your little spot right here? Pretty much. I can push to here. Um, I don't really know where else to go right now. Can I, can I get, can I see it? Can you give me a tour of your, your oh, place so my viewers see? Yeah. I like how you set it up, like, it's secure. Uh, Nobody can just run in. Like, you have your door and everything. I don't even have a door built completely yet. But I did want something that was secure because people have been stuff for years. 
say that it's religious persecution because a lot of times people persecute, persecute me it's for religious reasons yeah. I'm a very very serious believer in the word of God does it get the one in the winter does it get how do you how do you avoid like getting super cold do you have like a heater or something or well I got kicked out of a shelter illegally one in Shran and I came here and across the street there was a brand new mattress from, I don't know if it's directly from my old boss, Donald Trump, who's still my current boss. It's a Trump home mattress. How do you keep warm? Uh, the insulation from the mattress. And inside there I have several blankets. In the winter you need to actually be wearing several layers um, and have about four blankets covering your whole body and head and also have insulation under you, so the bed. I mean, sleeping right on the ground would be next to impossible without. So does those insulation, does it help? You have to have it. It, it, help, it helps? It, you have to have it. Um, I see people in Toronto act like they're laying on a bunker up above the ground in winter sleeping. They're only there for a couple minutes, making it look like they can actually do that. Try doing it yourself in the winter, I dare you to fall asleep on the concrete in the middle of winter. You would wake up so cold, you would never forget it. And the thing is, is you probably only sleep for about five minutes before you wake up frozen. What caused, what happened, what caused, um, what, 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 what put you in this situation as a former, as a former military man? What happened, what caused I'm you? I'm still in the military. Um, You're still? Yeah. Okay. How to put it, what caused the situation? Well, I was born in Tampa, Florida. Yep. I spoke at seven and a half months. Okay. Which is the earliest in U.S. history. Yeah. The Church of Satan um, knew that I was a Christian. Okay. He targeted tomorrow's young by Christians. Yeah. So, he targeted me through my mother who okay. went after my father okay. and I pretty much got trafficked up to Canada. Yo, traffic, you got trafficked up to Canada? Well, we can call it traffic. It didn't look like being trafficked at the time. Yeah. But uh, my dad was a police officer in Florida. Yeah. And he lost his job. People uh, paid the Hells Angels oh, wow. to make my dad smoke crack cocaine at gunpoint and oh, turn wow. him into an addict. Oh, yeah? Yeah, um, and that kind of screwed things up with his relationship with my mom um, and his career. So he, he moved here. When I was three or four, I was diagnosed with Tourette syndrome, OCD, and ADHD. Oh, yeah. Things I did not have. Oh, wow. I was diagnosed. So it was like a fake diagnosis? Yeah, and I was diagnosed with a learning disability as well. Yeah. How did you, how, so how do you survive day to day on the street here in Toronto? I panhandle. You panhandle? I receive welfare. I buy food from Sobeys. Sobeys? And yeah. how, much can, how much can you make like in a um, day from panhandling? I used to... It depends. Because a lot of people know who I am to a certain degree. They don't really know much about me. So a lot of people hate me. Some people like me. But... I don't make that much panhandling. Other people make more. Yeah. Um, to, What's the most you ever made in a day? Almost two hundred dollars. Almost two hundred. That's not yeah. bad. It's That's not, not bad. Not bad. But I don't make that much um, right now. Um, if I was making two hundred dollars a day, then I could do a lot more. But I do have a lot of things stolen from me that I've had since I've been in Toronto. About twenty-five cell phones stolen from me. Oh wow. Crazy. So I finally saved up and bought an iPhone 13. Oh, you, oh, you have an iPhone? iPhone 13. Oh, nice. I'm guarding very carefully. Oh, nice, nice. Uh, Guard it because, you know, don't let people know that you have it so that doesn't happen to you again. People, people know I have it, but um, I am someone who 
is a addict. I'm doing much better. But uh, what are you what are you addicted to? Opiates mainly. Okay. Um, I used to be addicted to things like alcohol and stuff, but. Is the government doing anything to help with those? Um, is the government doing anything to help? Um, or the city? That's not even something I could. It's, that would be a long conversation. A long conversation. A long conversation. Um, my situation is extremely complex. And since you're making a video, I'll send you a couple pictures to show you how complex my situation is but i'm someone who has aerial surveillance all the time yeah and i don't mean just one plane i mean several jets that are worth uh hundreds of millions of dollars oh wow um flying all over toronto and saying is the government helping um who i mean Jagmeet Singh has done a bunch of things against me. Sudo's helped me um, in some ways. Um, I mean, there's many people that work in the government. I know. So, I mean, some people do help me in some ways. But am I receiving the help that I should be receiving um, here? No. Yeah. Arya Patrick, it was nice talking to you today. Nice what what yeah. kind of gift would you like me to bring for you when I'm coming back? What would make uh, your, your day? What would make your day? Something small. Anything you could think of I could bring for you next time? A pair of shoes or something like that, you know. Uh, mine are starting to wear out. Um, what size shoes do you wear? Size 9. Size 9? And they don't have to be new or anything. Just a decent pair of shoes. Okay. I get you some new, some I, nice and new. Some probably. Do you like Nike? I do like Nike. Okay, the Nikes are comfortable, so I think that yeah. would that would work perfect. <laughs> All right, it was nice talking to you, nice man. Talking All right, to respect, you. eh? I yeah, hope they, I hope they, I hope today be be successful for you and you make some more money by handling. Well, okay. hopefully, hopefully. Yeah. Uh, well, you, let me tell you, just smile when you see them. Smile, go up to the camera and no, go to the car and smile and you know. Yeah, I, just I think smile, I think please smiling please. will help because yeah. I, I pass you all the time. Yeah, and you're like you're serious. Like, yeah. So a little no, smile. And but going but, but too, talking right? to you now, you're such a nice guy. I am. But no, look, 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 nice. looking at you, people think like you're a serious, scary guy. So if you're panhandling and you're walking, smile more. Tell, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna come back and ask you. That's the truth, though. I I'm am. gonna come back and ask you and tell me the results of you smiling. Um, a lot of people. A lot of people actually get frustrated with me yeah. because I end up places and I identify myself yeah. and security guards sit there and say, no you're not, and I'm like, yeah I am, you think I would lie about it? Yeah. I would be guilty of stolen valor. Yeah. I'm not going to say I'm a Navy SEAL and then get arrested. Right? I you know. You're um, actually a Navy SEAL? Yeah. Okay. I like um, that. All right. Yeah, it was nice talking to you. So I'm gonna, nice I'm gonna, you. I'm gonna head back up and I'm gonna bring that pair of Nike for you. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's, Respect. That's one of the reasons a lot of people don't like me. Yeah. Because people get in altercations with me over stupid <laughs> little things. That's how it is. I, Let's be safe and try not get, not, try not to get into altercations and try to, try you know, avoid to. it. Avoid it. All right. Have a good day. Okay. God bless. All right. That was it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do remember to hit that like and share button and hit that subscribe button to be a part of my YouTube family. Yeah, this is a Toronto that they don't show you. Like, there's so much, so much stuff going on. Like, it's so crazy how so many people are homeless in this beautiful city. Until next time, I'll see you in the next one.